As part of our SEN module, we were required to create a SEN ePortfolio as part of our assignment. Within this ePortfolio, we were required to create action plans, study various special educational needs within our placement schools, and identify strategies on how to incorporate special educational needs into each of our lessons. By adding in links, this allowed us to make our ePortfolio more interactive to others viewing it. This is done by dragging the mouse cursor, as seen, over a link, thus allowing you to explore deeper and in more detail, whether this be via website links or meanings. We found that in our ICT ePortfolio, if you create a link for some of the programs that we used throughout our teaching, it made it more easily understood if there was a picture or screen dump of that program shown. This allows whoever is reading the portfolio to become visually involved throughout the ePortfolio and begin to understand what the program is like. With the use of links being used throughout our ePortfolio, we can help allow it to become more open and welcoming to someone else reading it. We found that it was also a good source for new ideas to some people hoping to improve upon their teaching strategies within the classroom. At the end of our ePortfolio, we added in a personal reflection section. In this section, we expressed our feelings openly as to what we have learned from using different forms of ICT in the classroom, and how it has benefited us and the pupils. We also found it very useful to allow others to give us feedback from fellow teachers. This allowed us to receive comments and other ideas on how to implement more uses of ICT in the classroom. 